Okay, so um, we're going to write the, the molecular equation and the total ionic equation and the net ionic equation for this reaction in which the hydrochloric acid, we know that's aqueous because it says acid, is reacted with potassium fluoride solution. Okay, this is of course double replacement and we're just going to get HF plus KCl. Okay, so they just switched partners there. Now, um, when we write the total ionic, we're going to get hydrogen ions, chloride ions, potassium, because that's a strong electrolyte, it's a salt, and fluoride ions. All those are going to be aqueous. HCl is a strong acid, but you will notice that we have hydrofluoric acid, and let's do this in red. This is a weak acid, so they stay together like that. Okay, it's aqueous. It's still aqueous, still dissolved. It's just dissolved as molecules. And then potassium ions are dissolved as ions, and chloride ions are dissolved as ions. Then we can go through and just kind of see what's the same on each side. So chloride is, is the same on each side. Hydrogen, it's aqueous on each side, but you can see it went from being an ion to being a molecule. So it stays, I mean, it changes. So we're going to keep that. Potassium, it stays the same. It's an ion on both sides. Okay, so does the H change? Yes, it goes from ion to molecule. Does the fluoride change? Yes, it goes from ion to molecules. That's our weak acid. So for our net ionic equation, we're going to write what we have that didn't get crossed off, and we have ions going to molecules. Okay, what about the conductivity of this? Would it be strong, would it be weak, or would it be non? Well, you might look at this and say, well, I've got a weak acid, so it's going to be a non or a weak electrolyte. But don't forget, we've still got these ions in solution. They're still there. Just because they got crossed off doesn't mean they're not still in the beaker or the test tube. So the conductivity is going to be strong because of the presence of these ions. Now you'll notice we, we're going to get some ions out of the hydrofluoric acid, but it stays mostly as molecules, and the reason why this is strong is because of those two ions.